All right, should I cast credit? Y'all can hear me? Yeah. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out, you know what I mean, for joining us for the five year anniversary of the body movie. You know, I just, uh, everybody here, I just, you know, has truly, you know, had an impact on my life that, you know, that I can't I can even be, be begin to put into words. The battle rap community has uh, given me so much, and that's why I feel like this had to be done because, you know, I just wanted to give something back to it. Diz, you know, you're one of my heroes. Caitlin, we had a our conversation outside about how much I appreciate you. Reese, you know, I love you to death, squad. I, you know, I, it's my honor to call you queen of, you know, of, of our squad. So, Jerm, everybody here, I just want to, you know, acknowledge y'all and say thank y'all, you know, for joining us. And, you know what, make yourselves at home. And, you know, this, was, this to me was, a, was an absolute classic, a masterpiece that basically captured, you know, the culture that we all were here represent so hard and, you know, and, you know, just do it, do everything we, you know, everything we have and give it to everything we are. So, yeah, enjoy your, you know, enjoy yourselves and, yeah, our future presentation. Bye. Space LA, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for shooting through. I'm Tajay. Some of y'all know me as the hood therapist, but I am your host for tonight. You know, so welcome. Give a, a round of applause for yourself. Back there. You know what I'm yeah. So uh, tonight we just watched a great movie, uh, a movie that I feel pushes not only pushes the culture of, of battle rap forward, but also addresses a lot of different issues um, socially, which we'll get into. In a minute, but before we do that, I just want to introduce some of the great uh, cast members we have on stage. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. And if you can, just say your name that you was in the disaster, uh, aka Megaton. You know, yeah. was the... yes, sir. Battle rap legend for sure. I'm Camel, and uh, I play Adam. And for those that don't know, Caleb himself is very a very accomplished actor. You know what I mean? Uh, won several awards. Um, when I when I was looking at your like career, like it spanned like television and film, like I just saw the credit credit credit. It's so many like things you I can't even name all of them, but um, very accomplished actor. And um, it kind of when I found all that out as I, as I was looking at that, I was wondering what your approach was like when you read the script. Like you did such a good job capturing, you know, a lot of different elements. You know what I mean? That that it didn't come off like like not legitimate, oh. like it came off real. And I was just wondering like, well, first of all, have you ever, you know, did you listen to hip hop or did you know about the battle rap scene uh, when you were approaching the script? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm 32. So I feel like uh, for me, like hip hop and, and battle rap, what kind of was, was culture, what like was the thing that I, I felt like it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I feel like hip hop and battle rap is always like push culture. But I think for, for people in my generation, it just is culture. Like that just is what it is, is what, what what we know. Um, so for me, it I was I was just aware about it because that's just you know what I grew up on. Um, approaching the role, I was I was really excited and honored to be welcomed into this community because you know I'm I, I was coming off of um, a, a lot of shows that were very different than this. It was a lot of Disney. family friendly. Yeah, Disney, a lot of family friendly Disney. stuff, <laughs> and I love Disney. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah, and I love, you know, I love working with them, but it was, um, but it, you know, you, you want to start doing things that are challenging you in a different way that you haven't tried before, and, and the fact that this script came along, it, it meant a lot, because I, I obviously wasn't the, the, the obvious pick for this role, um, but the fact that, that I was allowed to meant a lot, and in terms of, like, how I approached it, it was because of people like Disasters, people like Hollow, people like um, Loaded Lux, it was people like Kid Twist, Dumbfounded, like, they, they're the ones that helped me learn how to do it because it's no surprise I did not know how to battle rap before this and I still don't I just learned how to fake it because of these guys it's just all acting right no but you like I said you did a great job in capturing what, what it's about you know oh, thank you. I, I really admired admired your portrayal of that um, what was the most 
like surprising thing or maybe the hardest thing for you to like capture in this film as far as something you found out about battle rap? Because there was a lot of different scenes that, you know, for the characters got very personal. You know what I mean? As far as like even some of the things they were saying to each other, you know, just the things that these dudes go through, like, you know, how was that for you? I, I realized that battle rap is a lot like, because I come from an acting background, um, and I, I felt like battle rap is a lot like Shakespeare. And, and when, I, when I studied Shakespeare and I learned, I learned those like soliloquies, that is exactly what I realized was the same process going into this. Um, and you actually helped me realize that as well, because I was trying to figure out how to like find an, an entryway into it. And, uh, and I realized it's like, it's like, battle rappers do monologues as a profession. Like they're like modern Shakespearean poets. And it's, it's an incredible art form, and it, I already respected it going into it, and then spending a few months learning about it to prep for it and a few months filming it, I just, I realized that they're, they're the greatest performers out there right now. And um, actors don't hold a candle to them. Man, that's Shit, big. That's, that's, that's big. That's, that's big. Especially, like I said, his resume is crazy. Like, the Disney Channel stuff, that's just like part yeah, of it. Nah, yeah. Like, he's yeah. run the gambit of like, Different role, like I, I think to hear the so respect from actors and someone that's especially as acclaimed as he is, I think it's definitely humbling as a battle rapper because we do also still have this stigma that's put on us from the music industry. Like, Absolutely. oh, you're not a rapper, you're a battle rapper. Right. Well, I've always taken pride in the battle rap thing because we hold the grassroots, you know, the the authentic, pure essence of this that people like him could appreciate coming into it. Like other people from all over the world could always appreciate culture if it's grassrooted. Once it becomes a mainstream thing, it's like for everybody, everybody. And it right. no longer is a small niche that you could appreciate and indulge in and respect. And like he did it, he did it the right way to be honest with you. Like he, um, he came into it like just, I wanna learn about everything. There was zero ego involved and just, he was just adopted this shit pretty fucking crazy, man. Nah, that, that's real. Well, and you were patient with me too. Yeah, it I was. Mean, it was a rough start. It was a rough start. <laughs> it was rough for a while there, but uh, but luckily you didn't give yeah, up. Yeah, I'd give you more credit than that. You know what I mean? I'd definitely give you more credit than that. I think your acting background, maybe the similarities that you saw and those nuances and just how battle rap is, and you were able to use some of your acting like experience to kind of translate into what we were doing because of the maybe Shakespearean bridge right there, you know what totally. I mean? So I feel like, I do think yeah. that there's an element of Broadway acting to our shit, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, it's on the spot, you make a fucking mistake, you up out of here, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's like, you're under pressure and people are just staring at you and they're like, impress me. Yeah. So it's on like, it's, it's awesome. different, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's different than like being able to do a bunch of takes. Right. What we do is like death if you make a mistake. Right. One stutter. There is no other fucking take. Yeah, no, nah, and that, I mean, that brings me actually to my next, to my next question. One of the things that I admired most about this film was uh, the legitimate people that were in it that really right. were about the culture. Like, you know, uh, uh, several of them I know personally, you know, it's yeah. crazy, you know. Uh, but yeah, along with yourself, you know, I saw uh, Pat in there, Rest in Peace. Right, R.I.P. You know Pat, saying? man. Yeah, Rest for real, Rest in Peace. Rest that was beautiful. Yeah, right yeah. You know, uh, Legend in our scene, man. I seen Hollow up in there. I seen uh, I seen the homie Philly Swain was in there. Swain I seen was in there. Head in there. Ice, No Can Do, Iron yeah. Solomon. I think they did a really good job, man. Shouts out to Kid Twist and Joseph Kahn when it mm -hmm. comes to like their placement of a lot of these battlers that showed up as cameos because obviously really? there's already enough battling in the movie. They couldn't have right. the whole shit be battle rap, right? So like the cameos that appeared of some of the battlers and obviously lush and organic and smack right. and norbs appearing in it. These were really important elements that gave the movie validation of the culture. You know what I mean? Like no, the I... real culture. You're making a movie about battle rap and that's why it's special because a lot of people can make movies about certain things, but how authentic is the movie and a reflection of real life? How much of it is it is it like a real thing like that? And that's what I think what gives our movie like a little magical feel to it. Yeah, and especially the blend of like the seriousness of the culture and also being comedic. Yeah. That's a hard balance sometimes when well, you're we have to incorporate songs. both styles, yeah. you know, because battle yeah. rap is, you know, it's a very versatile place and there is at the core of it almost two different styles that 
make up battle rap, and it was a healthy mix of both of it. You had your street, your gun bars, your comedic Absolutely. stuff, your multi-syllables that I gave you yeah. throughout the whole entire thing. Like, so the whole multi-metaphoric contrast was also there. Yeah, no, absolutely. You have anything that you wanted to add in as far as like um, just the legitimate, you said you were uh, obviously your performance was influenced by being around some of these these guys. I gave I mean, you some bars, didn't I? Like, or did, did I? Cause did. I yeah, because yeah. I, I also helped write a lot of the bars, like Dumbfounded right. stuff, a lot of it was mine, a lot of um, his stuff, a lot of my stuff, all my stuff obviously was mine. Um, and then just, you know, it was crazy seeing him adopt it to other stuff because he had help like with other people too. Like so, they they helped him out with the bars and obviously Kid Twist wrote most of the shit. You know what I mean? And uh, but it was just really crazy. I feel like he did really good, man. Like he, did. I, he, he should give himself more like, credit. Because he, <laughs> just everything from just learning to just the rapping. On well, just his image period is not the dope. most battle rap like you know, yeah, yeah, image. And you know what I mean? Like so, he had to fight through like people being like, oh okay, like yeah. What are you about to say? Fucking C rabbit, you know? What I mean? Right. Like, <laughs> fucking yeah. D rabbit. <laughs> right, and to come after such an iconic portrayal exactly. of something, you know, that's and he's yeah. the producer of the yeah. goddamn movie. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, that yeah. was that was nerve wracking, and I, I gotta thank Joseph Kahn for for taking a chance on me because again, like, was not the obvious choice for this at all. Um, the only thing I'll add to what we were saying before with the cameos is that uh, I, the first day I had to do a battle was uh, the day that, that, that Pat was there. And I'm Canadian as well. And okay. he, was, he was so kind and he was so supportive. And I remember doing a, uh, showing some of the, the, the bars to, to, to Pat and Hollow. And, um, and they were just, they, it just meant a lot. It meant a lot getting their approval as well as Diz, obviously. Uh, and it, it just, it really meant a lot. I remember just Pat being really kind. And uh, yeah, it was just really cool to see him going. Yeah, rest in peace again, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. This movie was so well-rounded in the sense of, of course, you know, they had the battle rap aspect to it. But like I referred to earlier, there was a lot of social like commentary in this movie that yeah. kind of made you think about, you know, these things. Was it was it difficult to tackle some of that in the performance or to like, because I mean, we heard things from racism to appropriation, you know, things that people are very uncomfortable talking about sometimes, especially in this world of hip hop, no matter what genre of hip hop it is, you know. Um, and you guys have any views about that as far as how it addressed it, how it came through in the performances? I, I was definitely nervous because, you know, this character, he's not a good person. There's a, there's a lot of, obviously, he's, he's really not. Um, and a lot of the times when you see a movie, like the, the person that's considered like the, the lead, you think that means they're the hero or they're the good person. This guy's right. not. Yeah. And so it was really important for me to have people see the end of the movie so they know that he's not. He's not a good person, and uh, <laughs> and it's always it's always nerve wracking to take it's to real. take those risks because, um, you know, it, it it does tackle a lot of big things, yeah. and uh, and I was nervous, but what what I felt though is I felt, I know I keep coming back to because I'm just so grateful for everybody, just the community supporting me though, so that meant that that made it easier. And Joseph was and kids to us were so good at, at finding those fine lines and addressing the issues, yeah. and finding a way to do it in an approachable way. Sometimes it was a punch to the gut. But um, but I think they found a really good way to, to navigate those routers. I, I felt some type of way about it. I mean, I I, I felt like it all it, there was always the comeback kind of addressing like, okay, this is appropriation or whatever it was, you know. But I felt like I felt like he should have got smoked at the end of the movie, man. We talked about this a bunch of time <laughs> because I just I, the only thing that I, I I felt about it was going into it was just like. The white guy is gonna win again at the end, man. Fuck. <laughs> you know, so like, but it still had the understanding of like, it, just the way they actually brought it in. It was really genius, and I feel like it still highlighted. It doesn't, it doesn't make it to where he's like this blind. Like he had to go through all the shit, and he had to understand the shit, and get his ass whipped through the shit, and like, get the real approval from real dudes in the shit, which is what you need to do in real life. You know. So I feel like in that aspect, it really did do justice. I still think they should have killed him in the parking lot at that. <laughs> I mean, it, sh it shed light to like, like, yo, these dudes be going in on each other. I, I was telling the Diz last time he was here, we, last time we did an interview, you know, uh, to get on my therapist side, I was asking him what that was like as far as 
having to be so secure in yourself to know that these people are coming for you, like they're gonna research you, all of that type of stuff. I think this movie, although that's a complex topic, I think that it was good that it addressed and it showed that. Like this can oh, yeah, and they're gonna, they're gonna diss you, yeah, they're and gonna they're diss your daughter. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, all you know, all of that. They you know? did an amazing job on that, like actually capturing those type of battles because you have to understand, I was reading the script when I got it, like and some of these battles were already done, you know what I mean? Like the, that, I got I got to read that. And like when I read it, I was like, holy shit. It's like they, yeah. they made it to where this is, because battle rap does get crazy like this. There have been instances where people get Absolutely. fucking, their families destroyed, fucking shit comes up about them. Dog, battle rap is a place where if you're a bad person, you're gonna get fucked up over it. You kind of gotta be like a, like a flawless person to like be able to just move in battle rap, and that's why I don't worry because it's always the same shit said about me in the in these shit, and I just don't have no, you know, uh, wrongdoings with people or things that I feel like could be used against me. But in battle rap, bro, it's it's whatever. It could be a family member of yours. Whatever it is, is like open game for a lot of people, but it also shows that there's consequences when he told right. them, like, bro, and sometimes the consequences are more than someone like Ben Grimm walking away and being the bigger man and be like, I'm gonna come back to my family. Sometimes it might be some shit in the parking lot. And so like, you gotta understand that that does come with the territory of it. So when they were talking about like, the guys of free, they're using like, whatever it is like for freedom of speech to use it as a guise of that, it's still, you have to understand that, yeah, it's freedom of speech, but it's like also we value consequences of this shit. Like the right. consequences are still accepted in the freedom of speech realm that we live in. There, where nobody's gonna call the cops. Like you're gonna get fucked up. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's real. I mean, I just overall, I think the movie just if you didn't know that about battle rap and you weren't like really big into like what happens and what goes into these battles and the things they gotta hear about themselves, the things they gotta say about somebody else, I think you leave with a great respect for that. You know, and it, it adds to what you were saying about the whole performance of it, you know? Cause it's not just a performance of a part, it's, it's you really too. And the, you know, these things that they're saying, you know, so I think that's where it differs, like how you were referring to just playing a regular acting role versus I, I, I think it's great they highlighted that people are scummy like that. And I've, I've reached a point in, in, in my career in battle rap where when I was younger, I used to say whatever I could to win. And I feel like it's not worth it because you do have to see these people at these events and they are your like your extended family. Like, So saying something about someone's daughter, like the way that happened in that, yeah. is really fucking extreme. And most people won't do that, you know what I mean? But it does highlight how it does happen. And there will be people that get desperate enough and Absolutely. mad as fucking battle rap, and they really have such low standards that they'll be like, "Yeah, your daughter can't breathe nothing right now," and all oh, this shit that Darth Vader choking I on mean, the jawbreaker. We've jaw seen it in songs, damn. you know. Like, yeah, no, yeah. it sounded crazy as fuck. You know, like, hey, I don't know if somebody could handle that level of shit. We did. That's almost yet to be seen, damn near, because that was some cold ass shit, man. Yeah, it was. <laughs> It really was. Yeah, man. So I mean, as far as uh, this this the movie, as far as its place and culture, like you know, what what we did really good on this movie. To be honest with you, we won all the festival awards. We uh, sold out all the theaters that we had it in. We got a what is it on Rotten Tomatoes? Like eighty nine percent, like ninety percent. We we yeah, started at like ninety one, yeah. and then they try to fuck fuck the shit up and brought it down like two percent. But eighty nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes is a serious. Serious accomplishment. Yeah, so, for real. like we, yeah, yeah. Nah, for real, for real. I think I want to highlight one thing. I think it just shows you, you know, there's a market just like everything else. You know how the the rap game. We understand the payola aspect of it. Absolutely. You got to understand that all industries have been taken over by this process and this this way of doing business. So just like that. In, in, in the movie world, you will be taken out by the mega sharks that have way more money than you. And we experienced that trying to get the movie into certain theaters that were just completely sold out, blocks completely, where we could only get one, put it this way, we would have one, one section in, our, in, in the theater where they're playing our shit, and we'd sell it out, and they would have seven other rooms of the same movie empty. But they don't give a fuck because they're getting paid. And that's how it works. They don't need to sell those tickets because they're already getting paid for that movie to fucking show. 
So we we really have to go up against the machine with this type of shit. You know what I mean? And the the movie itself, I think, is an incredible movie. Like you, it's it gives you a really good understanding of what we do, and it's tied it together really well. You know what I mean? Minus him not getting shot at the end, but yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nah, definitely, definitely. Um, where when you think of the movie, like, what are some of the things that come here as far as like you know your overall experience and what you feel it means to the culture? You know. I mean, I, in terms of the culture, I hope I hope it has a good place. You know, in terms of I hope that I hope that um, a Hollywood kind of movie did it did it justice um, because we we really tried to and we we were really dedicated to doing that and that's why there were so many people from the community in it that were that were leading it. Um, I I thought it was amazing to see that first premiere at TIFF. We had one of the biggest theaters at the Toronto Film Festival. It was packed. There were people trying to get in, and. You know, like, it, that's a film festival. This is like a bunch of, like, film buffs that are just ex so excited because there's demand for this kind of movie. And that... You won an award for that. We though. did, yeah. That was wild. Like, it was... We won the audience award. Like, literally, yeah. we had the most people there at that festival. For this, for this, you know, like, we won the audience award. That's, like, the hardest shit ever. It was. And it, it just... It was so cool. I mean, we were there with, like, all the... There, there was all those, like... Movies that end up going on to the like, the award season stuff and oh and yeah, what was showing? Us. I forgot. I think it was who who was it? He had he had something coming out. God damn, I oh. forgot his name. Right yeah, now. there was like a bunch of shit like that that was just out there at the time too. Like there, we were going up against some shit. And it was cool to see like it was cool to see the culture not only shown but like overwhelmingly celebrated. And I just yeah. hope I hope that Absolutely. more projects get made. Yeah, that, no, but as long as they're authentic and yeah. not exploited. I think this definitely set the bar as far as authenticity is concerned. If you look at everybody that was involved in the movie, everybody like did something with their careers. I, yeah. I feel like yeah, I yeah. feel like this movie was a part of pushing that wave even bigger for those individual right. people who went on to, you know, get different accolades and they're they're in different types of the industry. So uh, I, 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 I think, think it's it, the only yeah. real also not to cut you off, but it's so the only good. real um, it's the only real the showing of battle rap that's out there in the movie space because Eight Mile was more of Eminem's life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there was some battle raps and it was on beat and it was crazy as fuck, especially for us when we were young in that era. It yeah. came out while we were battling on beat. So it right. was a fucking crazy movie for us. You know what I mean? But in this space, there hasn't been something that captured modern era battle rap like this shit has. You know what I mean? Like this really captures it and it's all the people obviously you've seen conceded in there in arsenal and a yeah, lot of people real. like there's a there is probably like 25 different cameos yeah or like 30 of them like if you look close throughout the whole battle man it's just people popping up in and out of that motherfucker you so, got anthony uh, michael hall in this movie which was right. fucking amazing so too. i'm a movie buff i know Same. about anthony michael hall. I, was, I was like oh wow it's a legend right there, you feel me? Yeah, that's his father. I remember doing that, going to an acting class, yeah. like I learned how to act doing his monologue for Breakfast Club, and I was like 14 or 13. And I did that for years, that was always my go-to monologue. Yeah. And then, um, and then when I thought that he was playing my dad, my mind was blown. That was, that was insane. And this, I, I was already grateful just to be a part of this movie. I found that out, that, that was next level. Yeah, I, like I said, me, just me personally, I was like, wow. Yeah. Like they really like, Everybody's involved from the different age groups to the different eras. Like, yeah. I really appreciate. Who's the dean that was with? with uh, She's with amazing. Her. She kicked your ass. Yeah, she was fantastic. <laughs> every time, ass. every I remember doing that scene, and every time she would just be perfect. Yeah, it was she like, was amazing. Oh, it was so like, good. This family is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, She's so good. Well, on behalf of, of everybody here and all the fans of the movie, I want to thank you guys for your performance. Thank you. You know, give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know what I mean? Uh, Shouts out to everybody else. That was, uh, that was in the movie. Shouts out to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, again, I want to I want to thank y'all because I really feel like it was a real contribution. Thank you. Know you what I mean? Much. Did you guys have any last any last thoughts on it? Nah, thank you for coming out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, we want to do these a little bit more. This one was kind of, you know what I mean, the first tryout. Like, we're going to yeah. kind of do these. We kind of want to just keep showing people. We want to bring people that don't necessarily watch Battle Rap that much, too, to get them yeah. familiar with the culture, right. to fall in love with it, and just continue seeing these guys from the movie. I think it's it's kind of like a magical thing to watch a movie first before they get introduced to these guys, see them in the movie, get attached to them in the movie, and then find out about their real careers. And, and branch off and realize they're actually real people and they got yeah. like dumbfounded and like conceited like all these 
guys that made appearances, they have their own lives, loaded lugs, hollow, like their everything. Situations you know I mean? and everything. So it's, it's a stuff. dope thing, man. We want yeah. to kind of push it because I just realized just from watching this again because I haven't in a while. That it's a pretty fucking awesome movie, man. So yeah, man. Shout, shout, shout you were amazing in it. And we got I, active and lush back here too, who were both in the movie too. Yeah. Shout, 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 shout to Lush. My boy Active came with the Gilligan Island boards out here. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, man. So yeah, salute to all y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all. Yeah, no, no doubt. Thank y'all again for stopping through and supporting. Thank y'all out there, Projector Space of LA. Keep tuned, you know what I'm saying? We coming. Yeah.